well, well, well. If it isn't a wonderful day to be alive. I have something to talk about today, um, which is... Hold on. You gotta make sure to drink your water. I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't hydrated. And you need to be, you know, to be doing your basic stuff to keep yourself healthy. You know, if you're not drinking your daily amounts of water, your, you know, your gallon or whatnot, you're not going to be as plentiful. You're not going to be as vibrant in your energy and how you act. You're just not going to, your body's not going to function as well as it can. Um, so yeah, today's, today's a pretty chill day. I got nothing in particular I have in my mind really, so I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it short. Uh, maybe do a little five minute video. Uh, the sun is down. I don't know if you can feel it, but my soul is a little bit burdened because, you know, I wake up and, you know, I see the sunlight and I'm like, wow, you know, it's so beautiful. Glory to God. And, but then the sun disappears and you have to sit in the darkness. And it's just really sad. And I'm not, not, I'm not joking either. Like there, I think there is a, there's something sad about the sun going down. And the darkness of, of this world. And I don't I mean, you could say metaphorically, but literally as well. Like the fact that, you know, the sun doesn't stay up forever and there's times where there's, you can't see anything. And I think that is why in heaven there will be no, uh, what's it called? No darkness, no nighttime. You know, everything's going to be lit up by God himself. So that's going to be pretty cool. Well, yeah, like I said, drink your water, guys. You got you got to stay healthy, all right? If you're not drinking your water... You're just not doing it right, all right? So, in you people who who drink these sodas and these fruit juices and things, there's something wrong with you. You need to get yourself together because these unhealthy drinks and whatnot. Honestly, I mean, I can understand, like, okay, obviously there's there's things in this world that are pleasurable, uh, but don't have good results. But, you know, like, soda and stuff like that, like, you could at least, like, eat a burger, you could eat pizza. You know, out of all the things you could do that are pleasurable but not good for your body, you want to do, you want to drink, like, orange juice or something. And it's just so sad people don't realize that orange juice and apple juice and all these juices are just as unhealthy as any sodas, any Coke or anything. <clears throat> so I'm doing online school right now. I wouldn't look up all the answers online, you know, that's probably an option, you could probably look up all the answers online, but someone like me, I would never do that, no, no way I would look up the answers online, the school system is totally virtuous, and it should be respected, you know, public schooling is, this not an indoctrination camp, it's not gay, and private schooling, they're, they're by the same metric, should be respected, so I don't cheat, I don't look up all the answers online, never would do, I would never do that, um, so yeah, you know, I just, I just do the schoolwork, you know, don't look up the I don't look up the answers online. Like I said, I would never do that. Never. I'm a good student, and uh, I wouldn't cheat my work. I wouldn't look up all the answers online. I wouldn't just look at the questions and type them in, and uh, use resources like Brainly to look up all the answers. I wouldn't do that. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's that's my online school. It's pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I I have mentioned this before. But you would think you get out of the, the the real communist school system, and I think we're on I think we're on a break right now. I'm not sure actually. Uh, Halloween, you know, Satan's holiday is coming up soon, which all the Americans love to celebrate. So it's uh, October 27th. So that means holidays. Halloween's in like four days. I mean, honestly, Halloween. You know, not not that I I would celebrate Halloween because I know it's a satanic holiday and it's of Satan. And uh, Christians shouldn't be celebrating it. But even if I did, like, what would you? Aren't they? Aren't, aren't people like scared of COVID right now? Is that is that still a thing? I mean, I would imagine people are. Not everywhere. I'm sure there's some places where you know it's gonna be normal. But I I would imagine there'd be many places where people are gonna go out and like these these boomers and stuff are gonna, like people people coming to the door wearing masks. Or they're not gonna come to the door at all. Or maybe like you have to social distance in your Halloween costumes or something like that. Maybe that's that's what it'll be like for the little kitties. Very unfortunate. <clears throat> very, very... Uh, well, not unfortunate. Halloween's satanic anyway, so it doesn't matter, but you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> yeah, pretty chill. Oh, wow, four minutes in already. Can you believe how fast the time goes by? You know, you sit in front of the camera, and 
the thoughts just start to flow, you know, the words begin to articulate themselves. It's like I'm not even doing anything. I'm just sitting here and the words flow through me automatically, you know what I mean? I could probably take this on for an hour, but I don't think I have I, I don't think I have the convenience for that, you know what I mean? Um I think my brother's going to be here soon and he's he he walks through here. Um and I you know, I have, he doesn't know I'm making a video right now, so if he comes soon, I'm going to have to end the video. So I don't think I can go on for an hour. I can probably go on for like 10 minutes. You know, obviously I could edit the video. I don't like editing, you know. It takes makes the video take longer to upload. It takes a while to process the edited version of the video. I uh, do not like editing. So, yeah, probably keep it keep it down to like 10 minutes or whatever. Uh, no big deal. Um, but it is, you know, it is a good time right now. You know, this this COVID thing, I guess it's kind of been a good, not, not, Actually, not literally, but for for my the way it's affected me, I guess has been good, you know, because I'm out of the public school system, the communist school system. You know, did my two years of high school normally. Uh, then we had the COVID during the uh, whatever year that was, you know, ten years ago, whatever, fifty years ago, I don't know however long ago it was. We had the COVID during that my uh, junior year, or whatever. Uh, did that online, and now you know, since I was, I did the right thing. Didn't give in to the COVID hysteria. You know, they didn't want to be the wanted to be the base anti masker You know, they won't let me go to school in person. So now I'm doing the online school. Uh, it worked out well for me. You know, I, I uh, literally there's already so much cringe stuff going on in the school. Literally, I was sitting in school on like the first week and or maybe the second week, and they're talking about on the announcements a safe space for homosexuals. Uh, my school has some gay homosexual club, li literally, um, literally. Um, very unfortunate. So yeah, I mean, I, I might be indoctrinated by the degenerate public school system. I know I've mentioned that many times before, but I, I do, you know, every day I wake up and I breathe and I, I feel the peace of knowing I'm not going to a building to be demoralized by a bunch of boomers who think watching the news makes them virtuous. So yay, yay for me. I'm out. Of, I'm out of the public school system. Can you uh, congratulate me? You know what I mean. I'm out of there. Uh, not not in anything new, but you know, like I said, I'm thankful. I wake up every day. I breathe in the air in the morning. And I'm like, ooh, look at my peers. They're going to this public school system. I'm out. I'm out of there. No, no problem for me. Uh, no. <clears throat> my throat's a little bit dry. I got a yo-yo here. My brother. Uh, he gave me this yo-yo. It's not new, but he's had it uh, for a while. I was watching a video uh, of Elisha Long. If you know who that is, you probably don't. I was watching a video of Elisha Long. He had the yo-yo. And my brother thought, like, I don't know, I guess he thought I was interested in yo-yoing. I'm not. But we got a yo-yo here. Yo-yos are pretty, uh, pretty cool, I guess. This is a, there. There are there are all kinds of hobbies nowadays that you can uh, pick up, like hand hobbies, like a uh, ballast song, uh, Rubik's cubes, those, those things of that nature. I don't know how to yo-yo though, but I think yo-yos, you know, you know, it could be. It, it does look pretty cool if you've never seen it before. You know, Japanese people, or East Asians rather, because I guess they do this in Korea too, but they uh, they they do some pretty stuff, you know. If you know anything about Rubik's cubes, uh, people solved those. Um, and what happened was, obviously, Erna Rubik was well, not obviously, but you know, the guy who made the Rubik's cube was white. Um, but then the Asians, since they have bigger brains, um, they they took over the, the making the Rubik's cube. So now all the people who saw the Rubik's cubes, they they buy them from the Asians. So I guess the Asians just make all the cool toys, you know. Despite being feminized in their culture, I guess that's one good thing about East Asian culture is all this, like, you know, you know, nice stuff uh, for pleasure. I'm not talking about, like, degeneracy. That, I mean, that, there's that, too. But, you know, there's, like, you know, you can watch some, these nice, interesting animes. You can, uh, buy, like, manga or whatever. Uh, you know, and yo-yos. Yo-yos. Look at the yo-yo, man. This is a beautiful color. This is a beautiful color, by the way. I had a, um, I had, a, like, a 3DS when I was younger, I don't know. I don't. Th I don't think I broke it. But uh, I had a 3DS. It was this color. This is such a beautiful. This is like this chrome, like cyan color. It, it, chrome is not a color, but you know what I mean. Cyan, when it is chromatic, looks so beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, this is not a yo-yo unboxing, but I, I did unbox a yo-yo, so I guess it, maybe it is. Um, 
I'm a little bit thirsty, not gonna lie. I might have to ditch this camera for so I can get some more water. I gotta stay hydrated, all right? Come back. You know, what took you so long? Um, I want to get a water purifier one day because I know the globalists are putting stuff in the tap water. They got plastics in the normal water. I probably got a little bit of estrogen in here, but, you know, that's that's life. The water purifiers are quite expensive. I'll probably buy one in the future, but... I don't know. I mean, I could buy one now, but that's, you know, that's a lot. It's quite a couple hundred dollars. I don't know if I want to spend that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I guess that's a good investment, like buying a water purifier, you know. But then again, it's like we spend so much time in society, like having, ingesting foods that are unhealthy and things that are unhealthy. It's like, you know, just doing the right thing and becoming healthier seems like a extra task. It doesn't seem like something that's like very necessary, even though it kind of is in a way, but, um, it kind of seems optional, you know what I mean? And it is optional, but it shouldn't be. You shouldn't think of it that way. Ugh. You know, I used to drink out of... Uh, I used to drink a lot of plastic bottled water. But then I found out it has plastic in it, so I stopped drinking it. So now I drink, I think... I don't know. I This comes from the fridge. I guess it's, that means it's tap water. I don't know about these kinds of waters, unfortunately. I'm not red-pilled on the vast varieties of waters there are but you know I this is from the fridge or whatever <clears throat> um so yeah water I'm a little bit sleepy but it's only seven o'clock I got some uh I got my daily Bible reading to do which I haven't done yet so that'll be done uh after this video is recorded or maybe so it's not time it's not nappy nappy time yet but uh you know what I mean? It's the, the the sun is down. Like I said, he's gone. <sighs> Man. I don't know if you took me seriously about drinking the water. You know, I know, I know. You know, I look. I know you don't know me, and I know you just watch my YouTube video. But look, I'm serious about the drinking water stuff, man. Like, if you're not drinking your water, you got to do it, and you got to get healthier. You probably stop eating so much. If you live in America, you're probably eating too much. I'm eating too much. I'm trying to stop. You know, I think there's a very ironic thing, a uh, phenomenon in this country, where we have all, I guess, you know, I guess it's plagued other countries too, and to a certain extent, European countries, countries where white, white people are, like uh, Canada. Um, but, you know, you have all these intellectual terms, um, you have this new wave of, like, kind of how we evaluate our health as humans. We have all these terms for these, like, disorders and stuff and these, like, body disorders. Um, I think it's ironic. I don't know. Maybe this, maybe other people haven't noticed this as much. But I, I've kind of noticed, like, a stigma on, like, fasting and, like, trying to eat less food. As if that's, like, some sort of sin, you know what I mean? Like, trying to, people say you're trying to starve yourself if you, like, fast. Um, and I think that's very ironic because it's, like... We live in the, you know, we're living in the fattest country on the earth. We have the most, the highest obesity rate. We're literally the fattest nation on the world because we're the most prosperous nation. Um, and that won't be something too much to brag about as this country degenerates. You know, there won't be too much pride in uh, claiming this nation is the best. But anyways, we are the most prosperous nation, so therefore we're the fattest. But we do have this phenomenon of, like, you can't, like, fasting is bad. That's, like, self-hating and self-loathing. And all these, like, the intellectualization of, like, human phenomenons. Um, 
which I, I would say are spiritual phenomenons, um, specifically those with like food, um, is definitely is, you know, it's not like we just eat food because it, it well, maybe you could say we do, but you know, the, the whole, in fact, the whole human infatuation for pleasure is spiritual. So to try to reduce like, um, our, the way we act and, um, concerning food or whatever, and like all name, all these disorders as like, just like random things that happen. I don't know the names of these disorders, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Like, where, like, you eat too little, and they say, like, you're whatever, or maybe you, like, you don't feel swollen enough or whatever. All these, they have all these weird terms. Um, which is why I don't like psychology to a large extent, because they try to make, they try to subvert the, he, the, um, the spiritual nature of humans and try to make all phenomena seem, like, merely physical. It's basically, a lot of psychology is based in materialism. Then you have other parts of psychology that are based in pseudo- spirituality and eastern teachings and stuff and uh, collective unconscious and other nonsense I don't like the, I don't like the term mental mental health or mental in, illness because they usually just refer to the state your state of like sanity or um, these are disorders like ADHD and autism which I don't really think exist maybe they do oh I don't think AD, I definitely don't think ADHD exists but I don't I, I don't know if, I mean there are people who are like I think their bodies vis visibly look different maybe i think autism maybe does exist to a certain extent uh but they say it's on a spectrum uh i don't i haven't looked too much into it but this whole like thing where like you just act a little bit differently and you're called autistic and like that's supposed to be like you know these doctors like verify oh yeah you're yes you're autistic because blah blah, blah. uh i don't really agree with that i think i don't like that um that boxing of of seemingly strange human behaviors that are very vague and you know it's kind of weird because you think about autism it's like I'm not saying there. I'm sure there's some intellectual who would give their like very specific definition of the word, uh, but it's it's something so vague that like if you ask the average person, they can't define it. Like, well, how do you define autism? Literally, can you even as a person, whether you think it's silly or not, to uh, reject the idea? Can you define what autism is? You cannot. You probably cannot. So I kind of I think that kind of shows you how how weird the concept is. Um. I think it is, uh, I don't know, I think there's something about the, all this psychological and, like, mental illness stuff, I don't know why, but I think the nature of that stuff is, like, something people don't want to acknowledge, it's, like, largely disingenuous and largely just extra, really, uh, but whatever, or maybe I'll, I'll hit the 20 minute mark and cut it off. And I think it's very subversive. I think Satan is, is um, in on it. And I think he does enjoy it because, well, it may seem rather innocent. What's wrong with the term like mental illness? Like all these these little nuances, they really convince, they really do convince you that you're like you're just a robot. And like you, all these things that are happening to your depression, your emotions, which are very spiritual phenomenons, are just merely, you know, little mishaps in your brain, little chemical imbalances and stuff like that. Uh, and trying basically trying to like conceptualize your soul and your spiritual state as p p purely your brain as that's that's just like the thing in your head that, that control that where your thoughts uh transfer through so that's not good and i think as that stuff becomes more prevalent uh spirituality will be like seen as even cheesier to you know because i don't think it's seen as too cheesy i think that people don't reject i think people will reject christianity and maybe have a contempt for religion but i think generally uh, most people believe in the soul and most people have at least some, you know, some uh, tolerance for the for the idea that we are we have, do have souls and that we are spiritual, and that th there is a that most of our existence is metaphysical. Um. And the thing about materialism, I think, um, I mean, there's a lot of things you could say to refute materialism, but it's kind of ironic. Um, because to even discuss something like materialism, we have words. Um, and words have meanings. And meaning is me metaphysical, simple as that. So I mean, that, that right there kind of proves we, we, that kind of ref the whole the whole fact we speak, we even use language and communication. That right there refutes materialism. So that's kind of silly. Materialism is silly. Uh, but yeah, I think we're about to hit the twenty minute mark. You know, like I said, I don't want my video to get interrupted. You know, my brother could come down here any minute and interrupt my video. So 
nice little 20 minute video if you want to know what the yo yo, yo, -yo is in case you're curious uh i don't know what it's called but i'll show you the box should i i'm gonna cover up this barcode i don't think it i don't think it really matters but i'm just gonna make sure maybe like maybe you could scan the barcode and figure out what the address was shipped to but i probably can't uh but here's here's the oh shoot no, mm, well, here's here's the box all right it's uh it's kind of blurry I don't know why they should design this camera to better pick up things that are close. I don't know why it's not like inherent. Made in China, made in communist China. Um, the way this country is going, Chinese men will be more virtuous and masculine than American men. If if maybe they're not already now, but um. Yeah, America's uh, following the footsteps of, of gay cringe Canada. You know, Canada, very, very gross, very uh, unoptical. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice evening. This video should be up today. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know, but I guess it depends on how good your Wi-Fi is. But it takes me a while to upload a 20-minute video just that. Uh, but whatever. All right, I'm going to head out. Uh final thoughts i don't really have any final thoughts to be honest um i think i'm just gonna head out uh we got the yo-yo